Hey guys, I'm Tony. And I'm Nick. And we're the Sicilian Brothers. And we're in front of our latest acquisition, 2259-2263 East Ann Arbor Boulevard. Got my trusty Dunkin' Donuts here, and uh, let's check out what we bought. So we picked this house up off of uh, Donovan Ruffin, the local wholesaler. I bought it sight unseen, and you know, when we got here, it was a little bit... Uh, Hold on. What the fuck were you thinking with this one? Well, so that's what I gotta ask. So sight unseen, what were the numbers originally you were thinking? So I saw the offer, or I saw the deal come across, and it was like 65000 It was a big lot. And I thought it was something I can get creative with and do one of the, you know, our owner financing strategies. So when I first saw it, it looked great. I didn't really get too deep into it. I'll give you credit from the outside. I mean, I know it looks horrible, uh, but you figure it needs new roof. I think what really got us is when you go inside, you find out how when you walk foundation. Like, when you walk like 10 feet in and then all of a sudden There's you fall off. There's a two off. foot yeah. drop, yeah. When I got out here and I realized oh no, what did I do? It was one of those situations where I thought, okay, I have to salvage the relationship. I can't back out of the deal. That's not me. What can we do with it? Yep. And it turned out uh, that there's actually three city lots here. So we got lucky. We bought one house with three lots, which means three properties, which means three new construction deals. And a big reason why that that idea works well and that plan works well is there is new construction in the neighborhood. So yes. we have the comps for it. Yeah, for we got the comps and we have the, the city permission. We, it, there's very little resistance from the city to tear this house down and give them three new performing taxable you know properties. Yep. Let's go over the numbers. What were the original numbers that you had for this for this purchase? So our purchase price was 65 for the house with the three lots. When we got here, and literally saw that the house was sinking into the ground and falling down, things had to change. You take the 65,000 divided by three, and you're at a less than 25,000 for each for lot, lot, which in this area, 25,000 for a lot is actually a good number. You know, another 125 to build each house. So we're all in each house for 150,000, and we're gonna sell each house for, you know, 250 to 260. So instead of making 50 or 25 on one house, we're now looking at about 100,000 per house times three, that's a $300,000 profit. So completely changed the game. Instead of having a three bedroom, one bath frame house, we're gonna now have three houses and each house is gonna be three bedrooms, two bath, uh, one or two car garage, on average, probably about 1,600 square foot, okay? So that's gonna give us plenty of living space. One of them we're gonna turn into a rental, the other two that we're going to sell. Let's kind of give them a preview of what we're going to do to this. Why don't we walk through the yard and yeah. show, show me what we're going to be doing here. From this angle, you get a really good perspective of the three lots. We got the survey markers out. Each lot's 50 feet wide by roughly 120 feet deep. They're deep lots, they're nice. They are, they are nice deep lots. Three bedroom, two bath house, three bedroom, two bath house, three bedroom, two bath house. So we're gonna strip this down here in the next couple of weeks, clean up these trees, all this fencing, and basically you want it with a nice, big, open, flat piece of dirt that we get to nice put our three houses on. Blank canvas. Yeah, if you stay tuned over the next few months, we're gonna throw you some more videos of us demoing this house. We're gonna document the journey of us doing the foundation, doing the framing, and putting together three homes for three new families. Stay tuned, like, subscribe, share, have some coffee. Dunkin', only Dunkin'. Only Dunkin' Donuts. We'll bring you some more um, content. Content, yeah.